after two weeks of monkeying with this video stuff, um, I've learned a lot. Um, first of all, um, after 20 plus years of writing software for um, video editing, um, software engineers apparently have not figured out yet how to correctly associate video and audio. Um, that shouldn't even be a question. If you save a video file, there should be a direct association to the corresponding segment of audio for every frame. And that information should be saved in every compression. In every compression format. But it's not. And uh, also the um, <clears throat> files can get massive, so the hardware requirements become extraordinary. So if you happen to be running anything else on your computer at the same time, uh, it destroys the video. And uh, what else? Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. But anyway, um, so I threw up my hands and gave up. So I finally just went back to Movie Maker and went back to the original camera software, which is all crappy. And I'll have to redo all of the videos because none of them even pass as video. They're not video. They're just a mess of bits coming over the internet. Um, complete waste of time. So now I'll go back and hopefully this video will be properly synchronized because um, I'm not running anything else on the computer right now. So hopefully that'll work. But just so everyone knows, I'm going to have to redo all those videos because they really suck. Um, massive synchronization problems, first of all. Um, also, the, the, just the video quality is deplorable. Um, and, you know, I don't know how people make these really good videos on YouTube. They must have some uh, really serious equipment because um, it seems like the biggest problem is, is simply performance of the hardware. Um, but still, it's still amazing that it's that quality and that it compresses to the extent that it does. Um, but uh, these files will be a little bigger because they're not MP4. They're WMV, WMV which is crap. Um, Windows, uh, Movie Maker, and WMV files, they, they like to um, kind of set their own settings, so that's annoying. Um, so you set settings and then it doesn't stay true to them. So, um, for example, I can look at an image in the camera, uh, in the camera frame, like right now, like I'm looking at now, and I can go into Movie Maker and look at the same image there and they look completely different. Exact same image. Exact same image. Um, that shouldn't be the default. If you open up Movie Maker and you open up this, this, this software for the camera, which is a Microsoft camera, you know, that should be consistent, but it's not. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'll be redoing the videos here soon, and hopefully um, it'll be a lot more enjoyable and easier to watch. Um, the quality's still going to suck. It's still not very good, but um, it might pass as a video. We'll see. So, um, until then, um, I'll sign off. See you then.